Hey, it's Joey the girl, and <coughs> goodness. Um, okay, so lots to tell you in a short amount of time. And I'm driving, so I'm going to do it very quickly. So did you know that July 27th is International Kindness Project Day? It is a day where people all across the world are doing random acts of kindness. This was started by Dr. Joe from the Miss Foundation, um, which is the foundation that uh, helps me, um, as well as other bereaved parents, bereaved families, and siblings, um, after the death of a child. Um, I'm currently headed downtown Phoenix. I have to be there in a little less than an hour. I'm praying I make it on time. Anyways, um, Channel 3, um, Arizona Family, I believe, is um, putting us on their live show today um, from 7 to 10 a.m. Let's see. Sorry, I have to read the things. Okay, so um, my project for Jack is something I actually came up with uh, about six months or so after he passed away. When you lose a child, you, you lose their entire future. So when you get pregnant, or when most people get pregnant, they start dreaming about all of the things that they're going to do, like first day of kindergarten, um, high school, middle school, dating, college, marriage, everything, and you picture that when you're when you're pregnant or when your spouse is pregnant. And one of the one of the first things I was thinking about was how excited I was to uh, take Jack to his first day of kindergarten, and so that was obviously. Um, something I was very upset about after he died, and um, this is not going very fast, is it? <laughs> so, at the time, I was thinking at his fifth anniversary for his fifth birthday, when he should be starting kindergarten, I wanted to do something special um, in his honor. So I decided that I would collect at least five backpacks filled with kindergarten supplies to donate in his name, um, in his memory. So that's what I have done. Um, unfortunately a year ago I was laid off so I didn't know how I was going to pull this off because I can't afford my mortgage. <laughs> how can I afford to buy five backpacks filled with supplies? So thankfully, I have a lot of loving friends and family, and um, I got some donations that covered three of the five bags, and I took care of the, the last two myself. So um, I'm really excited to be able, I'm not excited, I'm nervous as heck to, to, to go on the news today and try and talk about my project and talk about Jack without like being a blubbering idiot. I think I'll be okay, but because I'm just so nervous, like, I'm freaked out. I ha I've, I've been a mess for like three days, like panicking about this, and I didn't sleep very well last night, and um, I'm just, ugh, I'm just like total butterflies in my stomach, and it's not even like just about me, like I have, there's other Miss families going and talking about their projects, and I think some people are going to be actually doing their random act of kindness on film, or on the news, or whatever, um, it's not like I'm singled out by any means, but I just, I'm not a public speaker, and talking about Jack with people I know is a total comfortable situation. Um, I still get emotional sometimes. That guy almost cut, or cut someone off anyways. Um, but talking about Jack to strangers on the news for people to see, I'm so scared. Anyways, so um, I've got my five backpacks in the back of the car. I'm headed there now. I'm I am excited to go. I'm excited to see my Miss family. Um, I am excited and proud to talk about Jack, but so freaking nervous. I can't even explain. Anyway, so I haven't been up this early um, 
on purpose in uh, a very, very long time. I woke up at 4.45. <laughs> it's currently 6 o'clock. <laughs> well, anyways, it feels nice outside. It's only 90 degrees. But, um, so that's where I'm going and uh, I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can while we're there. Um, I, I, so I'm glad my little flip camera is small that, you know, small enough that hopefully I can sneak it in and, and take some behind the scenes footage. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. International Kindness Day, July 27th. Do a random act of kindness in the name of someone you love, um, someone you've lost or in Jack's name um, and they have uh, there's links everywhere if you go to the website just Google International Kindness Project Day because I don't have time to tell you what the website is um, but they have uh, right now templates for the kindness cards that you can print off yourself for free and write your loved one's name or write Jack's name on there and do a random act of kindness you can do anything you can bake cookies for your neighbor you can take out your your neighbor's garbage you can mow your neighbor's lawn you can leave candy on a neighbor's doorstep, on a stranger's doorstep, go visit a senior citizen, go to a hospital and take a kid a toy, tons of stuff you can do, so just go do it, July 27th, today is the 21st, 20th, I don't know, um, so we're going to talk about it on the news today and hopefully get some people to get their racks on, random acts of kindness, okay, so that's it for now, I'm going to drive safe now, peace out. Okay, so I've just been driving around for the last half hour trying to find this place. I don't even know if I'm in the right spot. Um, they said the Park Central Mall, and my GPS doesn't say when exists. The address I was given takes me to United Healthcare. So the other clue was it said it was near a Starbucks and the Good Egg. So I'm parked in front of the Good Egg, and hopefully I'm in the right spot. Um, no one else is here. I'm the first one. <laughs> so I sit and I wait, and uh, I guess we're not going in the studio. They're coming here to us or something. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm chilling, just waiting to see what's going on. Still really nerve-wracked. Okay, peace out. Oh, and the big important part of this whole adventure is... I'm out of gas, like not zero zero, but I have like five miles left to the gallon, so I can't sit here with my AC running and enjoy the AC. So I'm sitting here sweating instead. And it's already like in the mid 90s at whatever time it is, like seven, so. Boo on that. Okay, that's all. Bye. Nice talking to you all. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I know this is going down to the 70, right? We're, we're thinking to do it more justice. Oh, Let me put it in Billy's Foundation. I can't, I can't do the math. Braden's Foundation. Who did what? Braden. Braden's Foundation purchased over 100 drinks. Where? Where? Drinks to what? For, for the circle. For my circle page. Oh, right? I see. I Here's see. for sure if we can take. Okay. I'm going to take the lead. So how do you tally? How do you figure out how many people? I mean, I know you don't, you don't, you don't necessarily But well, we've sold it. Okay, so we weren't on the news today. Um, there was some breaking news, a fatal motorcycle accident and some guy got shot. So we got bumped to the last two minutes of the show um, and the news lady that came out decided that instead of doing a two minute quick here's the information when people have already turned the channel by then, to let's reschedule to next Wednesday and do what we were supposed to do today, which was uh, the live show for three hours. So, anyways, postponed until next week on the actual kindness day, July 27th. And um, so now I'm headed to the gas station because I drove around for like a half hour this morning and was running out of gas. And then I'm going to head home. So that was it. Um, uh, they did do a little bit of filming today of like Dr. Joe because she won't be here next Wednesday. 
and then um, uh, Bobby was delivering toys to St. Joseph's and um, they were expecting them today. So they went and filmed her giving the toys. So that's cool. So that'll all be next Wednesday, Channel 3 from 7 to 10. Um, it'll be three different time slots, 7.45, 8.45, and 9.45. So that's when you want to DVR. I'm going to have to go ahead and cancel all the DVRs I set for today. Anyways, so off to get gas and then home. Peace out.